Hey yo, what's up? Today I have a new system that I'm going to build for my friend. Let's check it out. The case is SSPC blah 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 blah. Next is the SSD. I'm doing a dual boot, one for Windows and one for OS X. The NVMe will be for my Mac. Next part is DDR4 RAM. It's from Kingston. Bus 3200 RGB AGB sticks. The power supply is Cooler Master 650 watts. Everything is sponsored by myself. So it's a semi-modular power supply and this is the CPU I'm going to be using i7-8700 The reason I'm going for non-K is I'm not going to overclock at all and the motherboard is Designer Z390 I will be pairing this with my UAD Thunderbolt card I have tested on other systems it works fine this is the power supply I was telling you about. And this is the motherboard. Let's check it out. First step, install the CPU. Open the socket. Check if the pins are straight. If it's bent, RMA it. The CPU. You have to just put it straight, align and drop it. Don't move it. Just drop and close the socket the lid will pop out automatically install the cpu cooler it's good to use the aftermarket but for me at the moment due to budget this thing works fine flip over see the pins if it comes through it's fine you're good to go to the next step now ram time Always put in alternate slot, slot 1 and 3 or slot 2 and 4. Read your manual again. In this I'm going with slot 1 and 3. And go. Now I'm going to put my M2 drive. Here you can see that I'm using the lower slot. The only reason I'm going for the lower slot is because I don't want the heat from GPU to affect the performance. But if you have two, you have to use two slots anyway. But now I have only one, I'm going with the lower slot. With Gigabyte motherboard you have to install the, the pins and by yourself so after aligning it properly screw it back the m2 heat sinks you get with only like a upper tier board and now peel off the thing and put the heat sink back my only complaint on this motherboard is it doesn't have power on off switch so it's a little bit not convenient when you do a test before putting it back on your case. Over here I use screw driver to switch it on. You know what I mean. Shop the pins. And now it's test time. The first test is Cinebench. The reason I'm going for Cinebench is to see the temp and see if all cores and threads are working together properly. From the activity monitor, I will show you how the core is operating. Cinebench is very clever I would say that it can use utilize all the cores and threads as you can see over here with Intel power gadget it's a freeware from Intel 
you check the frequency there it's showing you that the boost is 4.3 gigahertz means all all the cores are running at the highest spec speed even the temperature is high this no drop in speed means you are good to go on your system everything will work fine i am in non ac room at the moment it's 30 degrees celsius in thailand so it's quite hot if you go with aircon room you might get a better temp next geekbench the standard test for any mac the geekbench score will help you to know where you stand comparing to the real Macs or real computer other computer who are using similar specs to you so let's run the bench after complete I'm getting the score of 27,000 means it's good really good score and next test is plug and unplug USB speed test the reason I'm doing this is because uh, the Hackintosh if you don't make your own DSDT or you patch it you might not get the correct speed so here I have made my own DSDT and now I'm checking if every port is working as it should and it is working as it should good So just keep on testing till every port come back to front front to back several times okay now what's my next test i think network test thunderbolt test yeah i just keep on plugging and plugging my uad without rebooting it's working fine thanks for SSDT by someone on the internet and the final cut test FCPX I know this machine is intended for audio audio works perfect I'm using it now but some of the guys I don't know they always like to do the FCPX test many guys are building Hackintosh for FCPX or Logic Pro they both work perfectly on this machine, I can tell you that. So this is the export, I'm exporting clip and just dragging the timeline to show how smooth it is. And it's damn smooth, I can say that. Bye bye, see you next video, next build.